the first of many, I'm sure, um, videos where I just complain about bad notation for actual instruments. And um, no disrespect to uh, Otto Molina, who did this piece. Uh, it's composing in logic, perhaps, where you enter your samples and you try and translate that to readable notation. Maybe you get a chance to work with live musicians. That would be very cool. Um, yeah, but there's a lot of pitfalls. So uh, I function better when I can just look at something and critique it, I suppose. Do yourself a favor, put in the work. It'll pay dividends when you get in the, the session with actual people. Uh, I'll just talk over this stuff and hope it's useful. I'll treat the score as if I were conducting it in a room full of real people. Um, the bassoons are high. Pretty high. Um, use a tenor clef. Uh, you'll see arcane literature with a treble clef. Don't bother. Every player will read tenor clef. That's what they're used to most of the time. The bassoons following that uh, uh, melody, a due, that is that little A2, that means unison. Uh, it's a dangerous prospect to have two instruments in unison anyway, but because it's so high here, that'll be almost guaranteed to be out of tune. And that breath marking, yeah, uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, the third point is, again, breath. Who's breathing where? you got to leave some breath room here. Those, those bassoons are not going to make eight bars at this tempo. Four bars, possible, two bars, I don't know. Tell them when to breathe. Leave a little eighth note rest at the end of the measure or put a comma in. They'll figure it out themselves if you don't tell them. But why not be clear if you could be clear? Horns here. Um, again, an ad a melody. It's not that high, but I would either put it solo or stick a third horn on there. Uh, for some reason, if you put three instruments in unison, it uh, deals a lot better intonation-wise. Two instruments in unison, yikes. Anyway, uh, horns are written high to low, one, three, two, four, not one, two, three, four. Uh, one and three are most of the time specialized horns uh, playing higher. Two and four are specialized playing lower because the range of the French horn is so huge that you have high players and low players. Um, of course, every player can play whatever, but you got specialties, so do that. Uh, in addition, horns do not read a key signature, ever. Don't bother. Uh, y write in all the accidentals, not three flats. Write in every B, E, and A flat that you find. Uh, you'll make your players happier. That's a drag. We can't see the strings here. Sounds like cellos on the samples. It's also a drag that the flute and the horn don't have opening dynamics. Jumping from an octave to a uh, unison note on the horns, not a good idea. Also, I mean, breath is all over the place. Who's phrasing this melody when? I'll shut up about the unisons after this. Uh, unison melody in the oboes and uh, a virtually impossible and inaudible line on the clarinets. Unison. Nah. Uh, there's a passage coming in the flutes uh, and, the, and the piccolos. Uh, it's supposed to be tongued, I suppose, because there's no slur over it. It has to do with register. So the, they're, they're way too low especially in the following passage, uh, two bars later, to be able to tongue things that fast. Up high, no problem with tonguing. Down low, you need a lot of air to spit the notes out, so it's not going to be uh, as crisp as... Well, 
Whatever's coming in the oboes looks like a royal mess to me. What's unison? What's Divisi? Yeah, forget it. There's a lot going wrong here just in uh, seven measures, even though it doesn't sound too bad. And that's the thing with uh, samples. They ain't going to tell you this. Um, first of all, the trombone switched to a treble clef for two bars inex inexplicably. It doesn't need to happen, the switch. But if you are going to switch, use a tenor clef for trombones up high. Um, the cymbals, which he calls pair cymbals, which I assume he means clash cymbals. That's what it sounds like or just symbols. There's, the jury's out on a specific term. Um, they get notated with an X head. All metal percussion gets notated with an X head, not notes. Uh, the trumpets have an indication to play this melody in the third bar um, unison with the three of them. Uh, I think the indication comes a beat too late. That's it's a nitpicky oversight, but uh, that arpeggio leading into the melody is certainly not played with uh, one solo trumpet. In the celesta, the phrase mark, there is a phrase marking needed, uh, or a pedal indication or something. The the celesta player certainly won't play it dry, but that's the way it's notated right now. Uh, so, phrase markings. Um, there seems to be an extraneous uh, normal indication in the second violin part. Uh... Yeah, there's a thing about the normal. First of all, the the Italian term is normale. Um, you can just write norm, N-O-R-M, period. Or you can write nat, naturale. Um, that's the typical way of writing it. Also, the violins at the end, the last bar here, have a trem indication. Tremolo or tremolando. Um, those are interchangeable terms nowadays. Uh, you write a trem with uh, the three stripes. Stripes? Three flags, I guess. Little beam flags. Uh, beams, yeah. <laughs> On the uh, stem of the note. Don't write the word trem above. We'll just nip this in the bud before it uh, scrolls away from us. The um, bassoons have a funny-looking couple of notes there in the uh, sixth bar. It's got to just be a mistake, but I'll point it out. Um, the horns here are playing with the four of them in unison. It's not A2, it's A4 is the indication you're looking for. Um, that A2 is a, it's, it's a mental thing, too. It's not just because you're using condensed staves here. Uh, it's to let them know that all four of them are in unison, so when they play the melody, they can all think about that in terms of intonation. Same thing with A2. You can use it um, on scores that are not condensed. Aside from the problems previously mentioned, uh, missing dynamics, etc etc um there's a bunch of staves with uh well a couple staves with double rests in them that are not condensed instruments i, I understand that the staves that have double rests like uh you know you got two bassoons or whatever here the tuba's got it uh the timpani has it two rests uh the cello has got it uh, i don't know what those mean clean it up yeah, the timpani notes themselves are extremely low um Low D is suggested as a, a basis, or, yeah, uh, the suggested lowest range for a, a big drum, probably 32-inch drum, is the standard for a, for a big low one. Um, take the whole thing up an octave if you want to preserve going down a fourth instead of going up a fifth. Otherwise, just uh, put the C an octave, put the C's an octave higher. Uh, the harp indication uh, would be nice to have a little flat when it goes back, when she pedals back, she, I'm assuming, <laughs> pedals back to a D flat. Um, 
put a D flat on the note as well, just as a corrective prophylactic measure. Also, I couldn't see what the harp was doing earlier, but perhaps there's an E natural pedal indication missing uh, on the seventh and eighth bars. Anyway, violin one is a steaming mess. Um, when they go back to Arco, you DVC every bar because you have these unison notes. Uh, there's also a three note chord on the 11th bar of the page. Uh, don't know what you want to do with that. I can't see what's going on up top. Maybe you can reorchestrate that, leaving out one of those notes. That'd be cool. Uh, the four bars there might look better like this. There's a, it's pretty standard when you divisi things to use two voices, stems up, stems down. It just makes it a lot clearer for the players. That'd be a good idea. Same thing with violin two here. You could do that with violin two. Um, Okay, the violas. The violas in the ninth bar, when they go back to Arco, ninth bar. Um, at this tempo, that bowing is too, it's just too slow. The tempo's just too slow for the, for the bowing. Just do one bar piece. Um, also goes with your phrasing. Uh, the cello staff, just clean this up, man. It's, it's, uh, it looks pretty fuzzy. I don't need to explain what that means with all the rests and all that. Well, the symbol rolled there, but there's no roll indication. There's also no dynamic. Uh, I'm not going to go back and check if they all have it, but watch out. All right, so even though it don't sound too bad, um, if you ever gave this to an orchestra... Mm, You'd be running into some uh, some issues at the session. Hopefully I've addressed those. If you got anything to send in, anybody, uh, send it in. I'll check it out. I'll make fun of it with as much respect as I can muster. Thank you for watching. <laughs>